This is Valerie Getch with another Lightroom tutorial. Today I want to talk about collections. Collections are sort of like virtual photo albums and they're a great way of organizing your images. And I want to explain why they are so useful and why they're so much better to use um, rather than folders. Um, folders mirror the file structure that appears on your hard drive. So say you took a picture of your dog at the beach, it resides in a file folder on your hard drive. Um, and it's in that one place. With a collection, on the other hand, that same photo can appear in multiple collections. Um, you could have that one image of your dog um, in a collection of photo, dog photos. Um, it could be in another collection called beach photos. And it could be in another collection called favorite photos of 2013. So, and then it's still residing in that one physical location, not in multiple locations. So, watch this to learn more. Collections are an extremely useful means of organizing your images because you can create collections using images from any location and different folders, including external drives. They're virtual, so no images are actually moved. So, for example, here's a collection of images I put together called Tutorial that come from three different folders. You can have the same image in multiple collections, yet there is still only one physical copy of the image stored. This is a big advantage because you're not using up a ton of storage space by having multiple copies of the images stored in different places, and it sure um, relieves any kind of headaches of trying to keep track of stuff. So any changes you make to an image will be reflected anywhere else that image appears because it's virtual, as I said. So if you make a change to an image, such as a new develop edit or change the star rating, that change is going to be reflected wherever that image appears. So you don't have to worry about having multiple copies and only one got updated. So for instance, if I convert this flower image to black and white, and I'm going to give you um, a quick and dirty shortcut. Let's select the image and then hit the V key and then it will convert to black and white. And this is just, as I said, quick and dirty to kind of see what it looks like. Obviously, it would need some fine tuning. And then I'm going to navigate to my, um, let's see, it's in my Laguna folder under flowers. And there it is in black and white. So again, you don't have to worry um, about trying to make changes and keep track of things. Lightroom will do it for you. So let's just convert that back to color by hitting the V key again. So there are two main kinds of collections. Standard collections, which are images that you specifically choose to include, and you manually put those images into a collection. And they'll stay there unless you uh, decide to remove them yourself. The other kind of collection is a smart collection, and that's based on filters you define to specify what images you want included. So for example, you could create a smart collection containing images with a keyword grease with four stars or higher that were shot in, um, you know, 2010. And I also want to point out that there are two other sort of collections. Um, one of them is, we'll find it under catalog, and it's um, quick collection. And a quick collection, you may recall from an earlier tutorial, is kind of a temporary collection. So say if you wanted to gather some images to email to someone or to print, um, and you didn't want them permanently in a collection, you can just quickly put them in a, coll a quick collection. And the other kind of collection is previous import. Uh, previous import will show the images that you last imported, and that, of course, will change every time you import new ones. So let's start by creating a collection set, because I want you to know how that works. A collection set holds other collections, just um, sort of how um, you can have a folder that contains subfolders, except for collections are a lot more flexible. So let's create a collection set by clicking on the plus sign by collections and then create collection set. We'll select that. And then let's call this, let's name it Beaches Collection. And let's click Create. 
So now we have our Beaches collection here. Now we want to create another collection and we want to put that inside this collection set. So let's click on the plus icon again and uh, let's create a collection. And let's call this one, let's call this one Laguna Beach. And we're going to click on inside a collection set and then there's our beaches collection. So we'll leave it at that. And let's click on create. Well, before we do that, I just want to quickly explain our option set as a target collection. And I'm going to check that box now. I'll show you another way to do it. But I'll check that box now and then explain what that's for. So let's click, click on create. And now we have our Laguna Beach collection. And that's part of the collection set of beach collections. And then remember that target collection, that box that I checked? Well, now you see this little plus sign, and that indicates that this folder is the target for any images that we are going to select. So now we need to add some images. So navigate to the folder you want to use, and then just click on the images you want to include. I'm just going to grab a few randomly here. And then here's a little trick. Just hit the B as in boy key, the B key, and those images will automatically be added to, added to your target collection. And you can see here I added four images, and there they are. Now another way you can add images to your target collection is to use the um, painter tool. And we'll do that right now. We'll go back to the Laguna folder. And the Painter tool is down here at the bottom on the toolbar. You click on that and make sure that uh, Target Collection is selected from the drop-down menu. And then you just pick the images you want to include. Let's just go, oh, I don't know, just grab a few images here. And there you go. You just drag over them and they are automatically added to, added to your collection right here. A couple things I wanted to point out. You can only set a regular collection to be a target collection, not a smart collection. And I'll go over smart collections next. And you can only have one target collection at a time. And if for some reason you no longer want um, a particular collection to be the target collection, just right click again on that little plus and you can uncheck the little check mark here and that uh, removes it uh, from the target collection. And then you'll notice that going up here to the catalog back to quick collection, you'll see the plus sign is here. So by default, the quick collection will become the target. Now I want to talk about smart collections. Smart collections are very handy because you get to set the criteria of what you want included and then Lightroom does all the work for you of pulling together the images. So to set it up, click on the collection icon and then choose create smart collection. And then you'll get this dialog box here and I'm going to call this uh, tutorial smart collection. And then it asks if it wants to be included inside a collection set and I'm okay with that so I'll leave that checked and leave it um, that it will go inside the beaches collection. So here is where we get to set our filtering criteria. You can choose from the drop down menu any of these um, different options. And well, let's just start with rating since it's here. And rating is greater or equal to, let's just say, four stars. And then to add another filter criteria, just click the plus sign. And we're going to choose from the drop down menu. Let's just pick, pick flag and we'll say the image is flagged and then we'll add another one let's pick date and let's pick the capture date and the date is let's say the date is in this year and then we'll pick one more criteria let's pick other metadata well first 
Let me just show you a couple of the other options. You, um, I don't know if you can see that from here. You can pick label color, label text, has smart preview, source, file name and type, um, camera info such as lens, focal length, shutter speed, aperture, etc. cetera. Um, develop settings, whether it has adjustments or been cropped, a um, few more options. Okay, so let me go back to other metadata and then I'm going to select keywords and let's put in the keyword beach. So there we have our criteria set and I'll click on create. So Lightroom has found all of the images that fit that criteria and here they are. And you'll notice that under collections, the tutorial smart collection has a little gear icon to distinguish it as a smart collection. And because Smart collections are virtual and dynamic. If you change something, such as a star rating on an image, it may not match your filters anymore, and then it will be excluded from your collection and automatically removed. So for example, um, first I'm going to click on the J key to show some of the cell information here. And I'm going to change, um, remember our criteria was four stars or greater. So on this one, I'm going to change it to a three star and you see that that image disappeared because it no longer fit the criteria. But newly imported images that match the criteria will automatically be added to your smart collection. So now you know how useful collections and smart collections can be. The big advantage is that you can include the same image in multiple collections and yet still have only just that one physical image located on your hard drive. And you can edit the image and the changes will appear in all of your collections. My name is Valerie Getch and thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.